what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about nightmare in elm street in this video here today now this is just going to be pure speculation nothing still is confirmed unfortunately but hopefully this is going to end up aging well if it doesn't it just doesn't it's always nice and fun to talk about when we could be going back to elm street with us having at this point nothing really concrete to tell us when we could be going back but it hopefully is what i think it is what i'm addressing in this video so yesterday deadline reported that lee cronin will be directing and writing a new movie for atomic monster monster blumhouse and new line now it's a total green light in the first collaboration between the recently combined companies helmed by james wan and jason blum with warner brothers motion pictures group the film will be releasing on april 17th of 2026 the plot is being kept under wraps now cronin for those of you who are familiar with them they were the ones responsible for evil dead rise so what is making me think that this is nightmare on elm street is some of the comments being made he goes on to say that i am super excited this is cronin i am super excited to be gathering up my gang of oddballs from doppelgangers or from doppelgangers to join forces with the overlords of horror at blumhouse and atomic monster collaborating with jason james and the wonderful teams from these two storied and massively successful organizations is what perfect nightmares are made of perfect nightmares <laughs> Getting to return to New Line Cinema and my wonderful partners over there is the cherry on top. I've got something wickedly entertaining and terrifying hidden up my sleeve. Hidden up my sleeve. Who has something hidden up their sleeve? Freddy Krueger. If you want to consider that glove that he wears. Well, that's not even really hidden, but you get my you get what I'm going for. He says, I cannot wait to bring bring it screaming to the big screen on April 17, 2026. Now, Jason Blum went on the gush over Lee. He said Lee's work is always fresh and surprising, and he has an intriguing modern take on something quite ancient that I think audiences will love. This also marks an exciting series of firsts for us. Atomic Monster and Blumhouse's first time working with Lee and our first joint project for Warner Brothers. We can't wait to get started. Now, why do I think this is Nightmare on Elm Street beyond those things that I just highlighted? And of course, Blum's last comments here talking about he has a modern take on something quite ancient he's it sounds like they're doing a film based on something that has already been a movie in the past and the way they've been talking and the word choices i think it's safe to kind of speculate that this could be a nightmare on elm street but some of the other things that make me think it is in fact going to end up being nightmare on elm street is because if you guys remember last year there was rumors of that bidding war that went on in which the rumor was that blumhouse came out on top after the Craven estate had gave in and decided to have this sort of war to see who would get the rights to do the next Nightmare on Elm Street movie. One Take News, who of course is associated with big screen leaks, was able to give us a report back in August of last year saying that there have been rumors of the Craven estate finally giving in and that a bidding war secretly took place amongst the studios for the rights to Elm Street in the last month or two. They went on to say we at One Take News have only heard of these rumors and haven't been able to corroborate it at the time of this writing. The rumor states Blumhouse won the rights to Elm Street and they, of course, did not. That's what we found out at the time and that they'd be developing a new film. It's also been known to us and many within the inner circles of studios that the Craven Estate has priced Elm Street rights obnoxiously high and won't budge, thus making it harder to come for a new film to be developed and making the rumor of a bidding war seem less true. Now, then they went on to update this report, saying a source has reached out to One Take News and corroborates the rumor of a bidding war for the Elm Street rights occurring earlier this year. We will update this article should we get more information. They said, we hate to be the bearer of bad news, but One Take News has also heard that at the time of this article, Blumhouse is not developing a new Elm Street project and that the rights do not belong to them. However, we have heard whispers of New Line regaining the rights, but we have not confirmed this. We reached out to New Line for comment on the matter and will update this article if they respond. Now, here's the thing. Keep in mind, all of this was at the time of that article, which again was back in August of last year. Who's to say that since then Blumhouse did not only nab the rights, but there's something going on in which New Line was able to nab the rights too? What if they both came out of that bidding war with some sort of rights to the IP? And we're about to find that out 
in the few coming months when we get confirmation that this project that they're working on with Lee Cronin is going to be a modern take on Nightmare on Elm Street. It could end up being something completely different, but it's just the way they have been talking in the deadline report. And then the fact that you've look, you look back and consider Jason Blum himself has been wanting to do Freddy Krueger for so long. There was that bidding war that they had last week. Now, I don't know if this is the first time Warner Brothers and Blumhouse have actually collaborated, but it's just quite convenient that they are co collaborating on something that is supposed to be a modern take on something quite ancient. I think it's safe to assume that this could be Nightmare on Elm Street. If it doesn't end up being Nightmare on Elm Street, then it just isn't. But again, the use of the word nightmare, something up my sleeve, something something ancient, a modern take on it, knowing that Blumhouse has wanted Jason, not Jason, but Freddy Krueger for some time. And then, of course, Lee himself shared it, but blurred out the title. It seems like what they want to announce is going to be something that is a bombshell. Because usually when the plot is being kept under wraps, not 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 every time, but I will say that oftentimes when there is a plot being kept under wraps, there's something quite interesting that they want to reveal later on. Such as the fact that, of course, what we've seen with Smile 2. Smile 2's plot was being kept under wraps up until we got to the CinemaCon trailer that was shown at CinemaCon. We're now expecting the trailer to be dropped online at some point next week with this song from Sky Riley, a fictional character in the Smile world. But, of course, prior to all of that, I was dropping information about what this big plot that was being kept under wraps was, which is that Smile 2 would be focused on a pop star. So hopefully what will end up happening with this plot that's being kept under wraps from Atomic Monster, New Line, Blumhouse, Warner Brothers, is that they are working on the first new entry in a revived Nightmare on Elm Street. We'll see if this ages well and that if it has, if it has anything to do with Nightmare on Elm Street, we will find out soon rather than later. The movie itself, of course, will not drop until 2026 in April. I just found it a little bit interesting that we won't even know. They didn't even want to reveal what the title of the project was. And just that alone, corroborating it with the fact that they're saying it's a modern take on something ancient. What are you trying to hide if it's not Nightmare on Elm Street? It could be something completely unrelated. But I, there's something in my gut that tells me this is Nightmare on Elm Street. Let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.